So me and my wife and my three boys are gonna be moving into this building. This is an old, uh, well, more, more recently is used as a cafe, but it was built, this section was built, I think in the early 1900s. This section was added later on. Um, and so there's been a, yeah, a lot of history in this building, a lot of details that I don't know about that I'd like to learn in the future. Um, I think there was, a, uh, I know recently there was a, a smaller grocery store that was here in this, this side of the building um, and it closed down several years ago. But I think before that, there's probably another, I think a grocery store, there's a custom made furniture store in the back. Um, so there's been a lot of, yeah, just a lot of history, cool history to this building. Again, I think it's built this section in the early 1900s. Um, I don't know the exact date. I should know that, but I don't. Uh, but yeah, we're buying this building from my parents and going to turn it into a house, into a home. And so we actually rented this. Uh, we moved out a year ago, but we were renting it from uh, my parents. We were in here for two years. And so during that time, I did a little bit of renovation or a lot of it maybe. Um, several rooms that we renovated and so um yeah i just i'm gonna walk through hopefully somewhat quickly and just try to walk through and show you the inside and you can see kind of the potential of what uh this building could be hopefully will be um and yeah we're just kind of doing this video because we just thought it'd be fun to kind of document it and let people follow along uh over <laughs> however many years this takes to get done. Um, and so, yeah, I'll kind of walk through the building. This this area here, this wall wasn't here. Uh, we I added this, remodeled this whole room when we were living here. Um, over there, there's probably another like 10 by 15 foot uh, room. Um, and so we added this wall, divided it. This used to be like a, this was the grocery store area uh that was it was open more recently um within the past five or six years i think um so yeah this whole area was a grocery store there used to be carpet in here ripped up the carpet put in just laminate flooring uh, all these ceilings were popcorn ceilings so that was a lot of fun to remove but uh yeah this i do a lot of video work uh video production um podcasts, YouTube channel, things like that. And so this is what uh, I used for my editing room office uh, for the two years we were here. And now we're actually just after a year, we moved out for a year. Now we're moving back in and buying the building. And so, um, yeah. And so this will again be an office. Uh, and then I'll show you back here. We, we just started, me and my brother, we're having a flea problem in this building. So I've done everything to get rid of the fleas that I can. And I think I'm finally getting to the end of them, but this used to be all carpet uh, up till a couple days ago. It's like a purplish color carpet that we just tore out and in an effort to get rid of the fleas and it just kind of smelled. And so we took that out and took out the popcorn ceiling again, um, which I think there's probably a better, cleaner method to do it. But I just, I just take a sprayer, fill it with water, just plain tap water and saturate the popcorn, just spray it, saturate a section, and then get some kind of scraper, like a, I think what works best is like, just like a handheld, um, uh, like a putty knife, like a bigger putty knife, or a sheetrock uh, mud knife, whatever you call those things. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. So something like that, or, or even like a big, uh, like a floor scraper, something like that with a flat, wide flat like metal edge and you can just kind of once you saturate the popcorn ceiling with water you can literally just take the your metal scraper whatever it is and just slide it across and put a little bit of pressure on it but it'll just all the all the popcorn just kind of slides off really easily so um yeah that's just a little trick i think my brother-in-law told me about and so it's pop, removing popcorn ceiling is pretty easy i obviously don't know the best don't do the best job. I got some scuffs in there, but that's okay. We'll cover it up with paint or something. Um, this is the other side of that room that used to be the grocery store. This wall here, again, is that same wall that we added. Um, and so that whole section was the grocery store. This is now, we turn it into like an over, overly big uh, 
closet. This is this area we use as the kind of master bedroom. This is where um, me and my wife use as a bedroom. And so this, there wasn't a window there. We had that window cut out, uh, took out the sheetrock wall and exposed some of the brick. Um, and uh, when I did that, the ceiling here started kind of caving in when I took out this wall. Um, and so I, I kind of made like a makeshift beam and um, I didn't really, I don't know what I'm doing. I still don't know what I'm doing, but I didn't know what I was doing there. And uh, I just made a beam of sorts and framed it up with like wood. Uh, I think it's like a one by fours. And uh, yeah, I just kind of framed out that beam uh, or, or covered up the beam with that wood and then painted the brick white, which I don't know if I could go back, I might have left it the original color, brick color, and then added these uh, built-in shelves in here. And so this, this is kind of the main section that we've already started uh, and done a bunch of remodeling and renovating in. Um, and then also when we were here, we had this, this little bathroom added. When we, when we moved into the building there, obviously there wasn't like a shower or anything like that. It was just, it, it had been a business for the past, um, you know, decades. And so, we had uh, the toilet. There was a, actually this, this was a closet. That's right. This whole area was a closet. And so right over about here, I think there's a wall. So this whole area is a closet. There's a small, tiny little bathroom here. And so we just took out the wall, uh, added it into that closet and then um, had a, a bathroom put in here so we could take showers and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know if I mentioned, we have three boys now, only two, the two older ones lived here um, the time that we rented it for those two years. And then our youngest son has not lived here yet. Um, he was born while we were moved out. And so this room was, we had bunk beds here. This is where our two boys slept. This is just a tiny little, again, what we use as a bedroom. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna take out this wall and extend it out and make it a full size bedroom. And so this is, yeah, this is a really cool, huge room. This was used as the, uh, this is where the furniture store was actually. Um, yeah, really good furniture store uh, that closed yeah, several years ago. And so this is that same wall that we're gonna take out. Um, and it's cool, This the ceilings are really high in here. And so it's high enough to add a second floor that on the second floor, the ceilings are a little bit low, but um, you can kind of see there's a bedroom up there. It, uh, they're not too, the ceilings aren't too low that you can't have a second floor. And so uh, my plan that hopefully you'll see if you continue to follow along with uh, this journey is again, take out this wall, extend it out, make a full size bedroom and then lower. This ceiling over here is higher than this one. Over here, the ceiling's about to the top of the door trim that allows there to be enough space to have a second floor. And so I'm gonna lower this ceiling down so that you can have, um, again, this will be extended. So I'll either have another bedroom up here or maybe just another big balcony play area. I don't know. There's just so many things, so many ways we could go. Um, our desire, kind of the main, one of the main reasons we wanted to buy this building and are excited about having it is, is uh, yeah, just the amount of space um, we both have on both me and my wife are both sides of the family. We have really big families and uh, we just want to have a space that's big enough so that, uh, you know, holidays and when people come over, they can stay if they want and, um, and even have their own room and have enough bedrooms. I think by the time it's done, and if we do, uh, when we get things, all the things done that we want to do, there will be anywhere from nine to 11 uh, bedrooms in this building. So yeah, there's gonna be plenty of places for our big families to stay. We also, um, the, in the two years that we lived here, this, this all used to be carpeted. Uh, this is another, yeah, in the past couple of days, me and my brother took all this carpet out. It looked like, looked like that color of carpet. Took out the carpet, took out carpet in that bedroom too, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, so yeah, we had, in the two years that we lived here, we, we would host uh, like a, a missionary family from Africa who would come here for support, financial support purposes to uh, try to raise support at different churches in the community. And so they would stay here and we just really liked hosting them and hosting, yeah, just hosting people, having 
uh, a place for people to come and stay and kind of get away. This is a really small, quiet, peaceful community, um, kind of far uh, separated from big cities, things like that. And so um, out toward the Flint Hills, it's just kind of a cool place to stay. And so we're, yeah, just having enough room to, um, enough bedrooms for people to kind of, you know, even people with big families come and stay uh, is one of the things we're excited about doing. And so this is another bedroom. And that again, in the past couple of days, we ripped up the carpet, took out sheetrock in the wall, uh, and we're going to add a window here. You can see in the past, this was, this used to be a window that uh, has been sealed up, but we're going to, yeah, cut out another window somewhere in the same area, frame this up, make it a closet, and then this will be an official bedroom, uh, a legal bedroom. Uh, we did use this, as a bedroom back when it had carpet and this is one of the rooms that the missionary family would stay in they would use this room and this room above this is another thing that we added actually when we moved in here when this was a furniture store there was no wall here this wasn't a wall there was no wall up there that was just an open balcony the balcony was there but there was no walls and so we added walls here made that a bedroom made that a bedroom um that was kind of part of the beginning process of adding a buttload of bedrooms. So I'll shoot up here. I need to repaint these stairs. I don't like the all white color. Got to figure out what to, what to, what color to use. Another bedroom that's not totally finished. We need to finish the electrical. Um, had this window cut out. And so, yeah, here's another bedroom and it has its own kind of private walkout balcony thing which is pretty cool yeah once it's all finished there's probably gonna be a lot of balconies we want to open i'll show you in a minute over in that room that'll be a big area where we're gonna add a second floor i think eventually and probably open up part of this wall if you can kind of see past that light that i'm pointing at past that that wall will kind of be opened up i think there will be another balcony down there is actually where it probably will be the main staircase for the second floor, I think. That was an idea my dad ran by me yesterday that I thought was a really good idea. I've been trying to figure out where, we wanna add a second floor. Again, there's a big room in there that could, uh, there's plenty of space for a second floor. So I've been trying to figure out where to put the staircase. So I think that's the best spot right now I can think of. So that'll probably be where the staircase goes. Um, yeah, and then yeah, so uh, again, I, we want to open up that wall, I think, and then have like an open balcony on that side. That would probably somehow will lead into the bedroom that will be up here, over there. Whether it's another bedroom or another, I think we'll probably turn it into a bedroom. It just seems like probably will be the best use of the space. Um, and then I'll show you in here. This section here is has, when we moved in, was very hidden as kind of like a dark cave. So that window was not here. That door was not here. And then this is this is like a balcony that looks down to the bottom. That opening there was not there. So that opens up into the room we were just in on the bottom floor. So we cut that out. Um, we had that window cut out and then we had that door cut out. My brother framed that door in. But uh, when we first moved in, um, let me show you. So when we first moved in, you had to go through, if you can kind of see down there, this is below this, below the staircase is actually um, stair, it was a staircase to a basement. So when the businesses were open, I think one of the owners uh, didn't even know that this whole section of this building existed. <coughs> and so, yeah, you can't really see that, but down there's the basement. You had to crawl up uh, a rickety rotten staircase and then it opened up into this giant uh, room. Um, I wish you could see, yeah, it's really dark. That goes pretty far back. I don't know, probably about 15 feet or so from where I'm at. And then there's brick wall all along there. We're still trying to figure out what to do with this room. Um, we know up here, which I'll go back up there and show you in a minute, but up there we want to do like a master bedroom, bath, and a uh, big closet. Down here, we're thinking about putting in two bedrooms that would be our kids' rooms. And so this this will kind of be like 
somewhat of a secluded area for us so that when we do have a lot of people here, it uh, there will kind of be sections where there's some, obviously in a huge building like this, there's um, places for, um, yeah, privacy and kind of more seclusion and uh, separation. So we're going to, yeah, I think open up this wall, which goes into what we call the pie room. It's where when the Holder, Holderman Mennonites had a cafe, ran a, which it was a really popular cafe for about 20 years. And through that room, I think they called it the pie room. I think that's why we still call it the pie room. But we want to open up a big opening here so that you can walk through and have kind of more direct access to here. But still, this will be somewhat, feel somewhat secluded. And we'll cut out some windows out of the brick wall back there. And that the, what windows we cut out and how we do that will depend on what this ends up turning into, whether bedrooms or some sort of living room. Um, I also think it'd be cool to have like a little library or something somewhere in the building. Um, so yeah, all that. If you keep watching these videos, you might see some of that someday get accomplished. But up here is where we want to put the master bedroom. So we'll probably cut out either windows or um, another idea my dad had was to like put a balcony out here, like a little, this goes out to the back. This is the east wall one of the east walls of the building. And so thinking about maybe putting a balcony out there, putting like big French doors and maybe windows on this wall, exposing, you can see here, it's a brick wall that is covered with, uh, I don't know what this is called, whatever this is, plaster or something uh, that we're gonna tear down and hopefully that'll come off easily and expose the brick, cut out some windows and then this will, yeah, I think I think we're probably going to wall right now. This is a balcony. I think we'll wall this off, and so this whole area will be a bedroom. Um, yeah, there's a lot of space. They've already put in some of the plumbing for a bathroom wall. I think I'll rework all this, though. And I don't know. We're trying to figure out the best way to lay this out. I want to cut a window out maybe uh, over there so that there's natural light coming into the bathroom. And so I'm trying to figure out how to... Yeah, there's kind of some issues we're running into where this this is a big supporting beam. These ceilings are already low. You can see like right here, I'm touching the, the ceiling joists. So they're pretty low, but they're the same height as was in that other bedroom I showed you over there. So it works. They're, they're low, but it still works. But right here, they have this beam running across, obviously holding something up. And it's framed up with two by sixes. And so we got to figure out how to, yeah, kind of get this out of the way so it doesn't, um, it, it's, yeah, it doesn't hinder however we want to set up this bedroom. So, yeah, a lot of things we have to figure out, but this whole section is the most unfinished section probably in the whole building. Um, they'd be, I think this is where actually probably in the early 1900s, I think, uh, like down there anyways, I think was like a shoe factory, a shoe shop or something. Uh, shoe repair or something like that. Um, again, I need to learn more of the details of the history because it's, yeah, really interesting. But this will be, hopefully, soon we'll start working on this area once we get things figured out a little bit better. Um, so I'll take you down and walk you through, hopefully, really quick, the rest of the building. Um, yeah, in this first, first video, I just want to do a walkthrough just so you kind of see we kind of get a record of what it looked like when we started or when we we're kind of already started, but in the process. And then um, I'm not going to go up here today, but up there is um, an attic, a really big attic. It has low ceilings, but there's enough space that, yeah, we have a couple of different ideas of what to do up there. I'll go up there some other day. And then down here is a very large basement. That also, I'm not going to go down there today because there's too much left of the building I want to get through in this first video. But uh, we'll go down there one day. So um, I'm going to go back to the front so you kind of get an idea of how the layout is. I'm going to go back in to the door where we came inside. So here's where we came in, and I showed you this room. <coughs> it's a really long hallway, but if you go to your right, 
uh, big sliding doors that open up uh, into this, which is one of uh, the coolest rooms in the building. Really tall ceilings. Uh, we're gonna leave all that, maybe paint it a different color. I don't know, I kinda like the color. Um, and this area here is, this was one of the, the main dining rooms that was used um, when it was a cafe. Um, and so actually over here, uh, right here, this is actually a section, the cafe was busy enough and popular enough that they had to open, they opened up this wall and they renovated this whole section and added to this to the cafe. Um, this, this happened more, I think in the past decade or so, it was more recent when all this was kind of fixed up the way you see it now and was used as a cafe. Um, this here, this is actually the main entrance. I didn't even go through the main entrance today. This was the main entrance for the cafe. Um, and so this was another dining room in here, uh, kind of the open, the entrance dining room. This is where you would pay. Really cool custom designed uh, bar area. This is where the cash register was. Um, yeah, so this this is like a really small small community, a lot of farmers, uh, things like that. And so it's, yeah, a lot of that sort of history that took place in this uh, building. A lot of people have, um, yeah, just a lot of history here. A lot of people have um, been in and out of here. And so this was another one of the bigger dining areas. This was also used for the cafe. Um, so, yeah, there were a lot of... Uh, Booths were set up against that wall. We saved a couple of the booths and are using those still. But uh, yeah, this was kind of the main, um, again, tall ceilings, the main uh, cafe area. And then through here, these were the public restrooms. There's a women's and a men's. They're really, yeah, I'll show you real quick. They're really nasty and gross. So this is the men's. Um, we had the plumbing unhooked. And yeah, they're in desperate need of just being demolished. We're just gonna take all this out, wipe it out. I think we're gonna turn it into one big bathroom. This will kind of be, I guess, like the main like public bathroom, I guess. There'll be a lot of more, um, a lot of bathrooms that are connected more to specific bedrooms. Uh, this will be kind of just one that's kind of out in the open with a, uh, shower, th uh, sink, things like that for, uh, you know, when we have a lot of people here. Um, yeah, more of a public restroom. So here's behind the bar. It's pretty cool. It has a light. And right now we just store board games and things like that. This is like a fun room. Um, my favorite thing to do with this entry room is use this table. This table, again, has a lot of history. A lot of people have eaten at that table when it was a cafe, but it's like the perfect board game table. And so I just, I love using this room as kind of like the board game room, setting it up and it's kind of, yeah, cozy and uh, in the evenings when it gets dark out and stuff, it's just a cool room to play board games on. Anyways. Uh, here's the swinging kitchen doors that I think we'll maybe leave there. This is the kitchen where, yeah, the cafe, all the food was made. So a lot of industrial, uh, stuff. We took out a lot. There used to be like a big oven, um, vent hood, stuff like that up there, um, that we took out. This is gonna be a really big project, uh, taking all this out. We're gonna to have to take out some walls. There's really high ceilings, but there's, yeah, there's just some messiness here that we're gonna to try to figure out how to make this into a nice, more home-like kitchen. Uh, I wanna cut some, that, this wall here goes to the outside. Obviously there's windows there already, but I'd like to put some, maybe like a big window or a couple big windows here. Then we'll have like the sink and things like that looking to the outside. So this is going to be probably one of the more expensive things we have to do. So, um, yeah, that'll be hopefully not too long off, but it's going to be a while, I think, before we get this kitchen fully done. And this, this is the pie room that I talked about 
if you, through that wall goes back into that dark apartment area that we were in where, where we're gonna put the master bedroom and made it maybe a couple bedrooms. Tall, really tall ceiling, so this is where we wanna add a second floor. Um, and then put two or three bedrooms, another bathroom probably. Hopefully, I think there's enough space up here at the very top. The roof of this part of the building goes up here, but I think there's enough room to cut out some windows. So hopefully they will be high. They'll look more like this, these kind of windows. But uh, we'd want to put some windows in those bedrooms for uh, natural light and stuff. And so uh, last thing to see before I end this video that is very long is this room here. This is another room that has been remodeled. Um, I think I have some pictures of what it used to look like, so I'll show you that. Um, but we, yeah, remodeled this and turned this into uh, basically the laundry room. And so, um, yeah, getting things hooked up as we're moving back in. But uh, some built-ins, we got closet here. Um, another closet here with a sliding door. Took some wood from, there's a privacy fence out back that uh, I tore down. And uh, yeah, me and my brother remodeled most of this room. My little brother has been a huge help. And so we added some of that privacy fence wood, uh, incorporated that into the, the wall here. And there used to be no, this is another room that was just like a dark, nasty, musty cave. <laughs> I mean, it was basically like a cave. We had snakes coming in. Mice, all, all kinds of things. A lot of snakes, though, that we were catching in traps. And I think they're coming in through this room because some of the floor over here, this used to be like a nasty, dark closet. There's a wall here um, that we opened up, but there were like holes in the floor. I think snakes were, that's where they were getting in. It's just gross. And so we added a window there and two windows to this wall. And now it's like, it went from like being the dirtiest, darkest room in the building to like the brightest and cleanest room almost. And so, yeah, everything's kind of a mess as we're moving back in. But um, this is the just a little bathroom. Um, no shower, just a half bathroom with a sink and toilet. And so this is another room that we'll probably use as an, uh, we want we want every like bedroom or room like this to to kind of, have a specific purpose. So this will probably be like a, maybe a school room or an art room um, that can also double as a guest room. So we'll probably put some sort of like futon or something in here that can pull out when we have a lot of people and we need an extra room. Um, yeah, we'll just have a ton of rooms that can be used for um, guests and uh, extra bedrooms, but we want to have kind of more of a main purpose. So obviously laundry room, but there's this whole other section that uh, we're going to do something with. And, and yeah, my my boys love drawing and coloring and things like that. And I like to paint and uh, my wife wants to get into sewing, things like that. So I think we'll probably turn that into some kind of like craft art school room altogether, something like that. And then this, yeah, I, I didn't mention this is just drop ceiling. This is another thing that that we would like to, in the future, get rid of, hopefully. And I was wondering, I checked today, I thought maybe the ceilings were tall enough in here um, to do a second floor, at least in part of that, but I went up in the attic today and found out that the ceiling joists are too low, so we won't be able to put a second floor there as if we need the space <laughs> anyways. We definitely don't need the space, but I just saw that there's a bunch of dead space up there. Someday, maybe, like 20 years down the road, I just want to know if there's potential to add more rooms up there and there's not. So we'll probably just take out the drop ceiling and put in some other kind of better looking ceiling. Um, so anyways, that that is the building. This is, this is the front main entrance here. Um, that will probably, yeah, we want to wall this up and or, or, or frame in a door here, take out that window and make this. This is the main entrance, but it's just kind of awkward because it you go in, then you have to turn to the left to get in. So we want to make more of a front, uh, straightforward access, uh, make this the main door. Um, so 
there you go that's the building a lot to do and i was hoping this wouldn't be such a long video but it's a giant building so i don't know how to walk through it and explain everything in a shorter amount of time so if you stuck around this long uh, hopefully the next videos won't be this long but i just want to do a, kind of a full walk through of the building there's there's definitely more to see in there but that's kind of the main areas and gives you an idea of the main things that we want to do um, and again we decided to be fun to kind of document it and let you watch let you follow along with what we're doing and um who knows how long it'll take but uh yeah hope hopefully if you're interested in watching and seeing us renovate this old brick building with a lot of history built in the early 1900s renovate it into a home uh yeah just subscribe and follow or i think my wife's gonna set up an instagram channel instagram account not channel uh and we'll be sharing pictures and things like that through there as well as the youtube channel where you can follow along and see everything that we're doing as we're doing it